okay students the next topic related to population is sex ratio as population is a resource it is very essential to understand its composition so the different aspect of populations like age sex composition literacy are the indicators of socio economic development so today we are going to study sex ratio the number of women and men in a region is a useful tool for regional analysis which can influence employment age of marriage occupational structure so why it is necessary to count the sex ratio we should know how many men how many women are there it can make an analysis why because the analysis of men and women directly influences the employment the age of marriage and the occupational structure now what is sex ratios definition it is the numerical measurement of sex composition of population is expressed as sex ratio so what is the composition of men and women that when it is measured numerically then we can say that it is a sex ratio it is calculated differently in different countries all the countries calculate the sex ratio in a different manner now let us study how uh, the sex ratio is calculated in india in india sex ratio is calculated as the number of females per 1000 males so the number of females upon total male population by 1000 what is the formula sex ratio is equals to total number of female population upon total number of male population by 1000 okay whereas in usa in united states of america the sex ratio is calculated as the number of males per 100 females that is the formula can be denoted as number of males upon number of females into 100 so this is the difference in the two countries now in the russia it is expressed as the terms of percentage of males or female population means anyone it can be the percentage of male population it can be a percentage of female population so each and every country differ in calculation of sex ratio but for uh, for time being right now it is important to know how the sex ratio is calculated in india okay now in europe africa north america they have an high sex ratio whereas the asian countries have low sex ratio as compared to those countries now let us study about india in india the sex ratio is lower than that of asia which is 927 so what is the sex ratio of india it is 927 it is lower as compared to the asia sex ratio okay sex ratio of kerala is high because of now what is the reason that the sex ratio of kerala is high first reason is out migration of male population for better job as you all know the literacy rate is very high in kerala many of the educated people they migrate outside for the better job opportunity and employment high literacy rate there is no difference between girls there is no difference between boys uh, all are treated equally because of this the literacy rate is 100% low mortality rate uh, in the previous lectures i have told you what is low uh, what is mortality mortality means what the infant below 1 year when they die when they lose their life then it is called as mortality so the mortality rate in kerala is very low an ideal social system means what the social system in kerala which is followed is very ideal there is no discrimination between the girls and boys they are all are given equal equal rights okay now the next point is sex ratio in up punjab haryana is low because of illiteracy low status to females urge to have male child now in there is the opposite case in uttar pradesh punjab haryana the sex ratio is low here because the people are illiterate they are not educated properly second is low status to females the females are not given uh, the females are not given the priorities they are considered as the low status 
and urge to have male child so they always feel that male child is a superior child because of that urge there is more increase in the population now what are the measures that are taken in india so that uh, to overcome the sex ratio which is low in up punjab haryana or the discrimination which is done in india okay the first is social media awaken the people so this uh, in social media like tv radio uh, newspaper the awareness is done to the people regarding the uh, literacy regarding the social systems schemes are initiated for the betterment of female child so various uh, schemes are initiated by the government so the female child can be survived steps to abolish dowry system is also done as you all know the dowry system is predominant in our country uh, the steps have been taken by the government to stop the dowry system legal actions have been taken against this law against child marriage so the child marriage uh, which were followed traditionally in india by the orthodox people now it is totally demolished increase in education level of girls and scholarships are initiated so many scholarships are also initiated for the girls so that they can take higher educations to overcome this problem government social organizations are working hard so all these things or all these measures are taken by the government and they are trying hard to overcome the problem of india's illiteracy or social disturbance which is created in india